check out a freestyle I just dropped on YouTube. <laughs> 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 You got another day to be great. You woke up, so that means that you have another day to be great. All right, all right, all right. What's up, y'all? So listen, so listen. Let's just, 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 just hear me out here. Like I thought it been over for Diddy. I thought it been open over for Diddy. But you know what's crazy? These motherfuckers didn't open the hotline. An absolute hot a hotline. For Diddy. If Diddy did something, you call the hotline and they. Do you know how many victims you gotta have <laughs> to get a hot Jeffrey Dahmer didn't have a hotline? Jack the Ripper didn't have a hotline. <laughs> a summer a some Bin Laden didn't have a hotline. <laughs> like, what is this? A hotline? I know when the hotline bling like, it can only mean one thing. Diddy going to jail, bro. Like, he's he's never getting out, bro. There's no way. There's no way. Let me, let me, jokes aside. Jokes aside, BS aside. Let's, let's get into this video. The biggest secret in the entertainment industry mm -hmm. that really wasn't a secret at all okay. has finally been revealed. To the yes, world. sir. The wall of silence has now been broken and victims are coming forward. Yeah. Our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming. N nigga, people what? Claiming wait, wait. How many? More than 3,285 individuals contact us. God people claiming, damn. People claiming to have been victimized. Almost 3,300? 3,300. Diddy, you're cooked. You're done. Okay, I, I just need you to see my face. You know what I'm saying? If one of his sons happened to watch this video... There's no way your dad is beating this. The, no, 3,300? Bill Cosby had like an extra like 50 that came out the woodwork. And it was, ah, it was pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty bad for him. But, you know, he ended up, yeah, he ended up getting getting sent home, you know, to go live on his own, own, uh, own reconnaissance. You know what I'm saying? And get taken care of medically and all that stuff. This is absurd. This don't make a lick of sense. There's no way. There's no way Diddy's coming back from this. By Sean Combs. Okay. After vetting, we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court. Okay, okay. They vetted, they vetted those individuals. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So there was a lot of scammers. There's some scammers in there. There's some scammers in there. All right, all right. I believe that. I believe that. So now down to 120. That sounds more realistic. Okay. Diddy Combs, as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases. Okay. And you should know, to the extent the clients feel comfortable, mm -hmm. we also intend to make these individuals available to the authorities, specifically to the FBI. And you should also know a few of them have already been spoken to by the FBI. Ooh. Now, before we discuss the nature of the claims and claimants themselves, Yikes. let me comment on the large volume of calls we have received since our first announcement. Mm -hmm. Even before the indictment of Sean Combs, we had received a small volume of calls and it screened a handful of cases. After the indictment, of Sean Combs and the announcement that we were pursuing these claims, the floodgates opened. People who wouldn't otherwise for a variety of reasons are now stepping forward to make their voices heard and to pursue justice. But no, so look, these people are hold on. Scared. 
So look, so look, so look, so look. There's a there's a part of reality where it's, where some of these people are scared. There's a part of reality where some of these people are scared, and I get it. I get it. You're scared. But there's other ones. Y'all know y'all was with the shits. Y'all know y'all was cool with it. I feel... I feel... I'm going to say it anyway. I, like, I feel the same way I did about the Cosby stuff. Like, if it's that old... Like... You're a participant, bro. You was a willing participant. It was all good. It was all good at first. And then it became a problem. Then it became too much. You know? Once you weren't getting fooled with, once you weren't in the circle anymore, once you weren't benefiting from that lifestyle anymore, then you want to get rid of, uh, you know what I'm saying? You want to get some more money. Because um, notice it's civil. Like, I respect anybody in this group that's going criminal. Fantastic. I respect it. You can criminal and civil at the same time. You can do both. Push it. Push it to the limit. Get everything you're owed. Okay? I don't want that man to have an ounce of property left. I want what he has to leave his children. If any if any and all of this is true, I want him to leave his children lint. Lint, okay? People who wouldn't otherwise, for a variety of reasons, are now stepping forward to make their voices heard and to pursue justice. Mm -hmm. But no, most of these people are scared. They fear backlash in their communities. I mean, yeah, because you might be lying. Backlash in their own families. Because you might be They're lying. Afraid of retaliation from the perpetrators and their associates. I mean, that They're one makes sense. They're afraid for their own personal safety. So look, so look, so look. I get it. Diddy blew up a car. Diddy then did a lot of wild stuff and had a lot of wild people um, accepting him and helping him do the things that he did. So I completely understand somebody being of the mindset that, hey, man, um, I don't like this. Uh, I, I'm scared. Like that, I understand. That I understand. That makes sense. You know? And I also the the people like I like I was interrupting him and saying like the people that are in have something against like like oh my family oh my community yeah because they're gonna hear your story and know you're kind of lying bro they're gonna know you're lying you know what I'm saying and they're gonna know you was really just a freak off participant you know what I'm saying that was just that just wants some money now you know but um there's some more heinous na nature of these uh, allegations let's get to it. I expect that through this process, many powerful people will be exposed. Mm. Many dirty secrets will be revealed. Ooh. We know what we are potentially up against. Let's go. And as is always the case in situations like this, when a celebrity is involved, people can be downright mean and nasty. Yep. You would be shocked at the length fans will go, no matter the evidence, to the contrary, to defend celebrities they love. I mean, there's a reason for this word fans. They're fanatics. Mm -hmm. I've personally already been threatened multiple times on social media. When mm. I agreed to pursue this, I expected as much. This isn't my first rodeo. But victims who step forward to have their voices heard should not be subjected to that kind of conduct. They should not be targeted. I want to say this, and I want to be clear about it. Although we are vetting each call as stringently as we can, I always start with a mindset that I believe victims. I believe victims because I understand the tremendous courage it takes to step forward. So if you're watching this, please hear me. If you're out there mm -hmm. and you have been victimized, yeah, you are not alone. Good statement. Good solid statement. Good solid statement. I can't, I can't get mad at it. I can't get mad at it at all. Um, Man, let me let me get to the other part of this video, man. Um, so yeah, again, if you need that number, it was one eight hundred, uh, two hundred, seven four seven four. Okay, if you watch her this video, well, hurt by Diddy in any way, shape, form, or fashion, uh, harmed, neglected, or anything of that sort, uh, hit them up. They'll vet you. They'll go through it. Ain't my job.
ain't my job. And no, I will not be adding the phone number to the description. I just, I ain't got time for that. Um, Y'all heard it. Um, anyway, let's get to the other part of these. All right. What the fuck? Diddy accused of abusing nine-year-old boy and spiking drinks with horse tranquil. Nigga, these niggas was knocked the fuck out. You're not waking up off her, off horse tranquilizer. Somebody could literally have their way with you. Your body's not. You're not getting up. Your body might involuntarily like try and move or run or whatever, but they can do what they want with you. 120 victims come forward in shocking claims. All right, so look. Uh, additional 120 victims under with several, uh, including a nine-year-old among them. Claims were made by Texas lawyer Tony Busby, who announced he'll be da 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 of the of the 120 new victims. 25 were underage when the alleged abuse happened between 1991 and as recently as this year. Nigga, nigga, you got the feds on your ass and you still doing? You still violating people? Bro, bro, he need help. He need help. He need the maximum amount of help possible. Dear God. um, The youngest victims were 9, 14, and 15 when they were victimized. The high-profile lawyer announced at a press conference, the nine-year-old, this individual who was nine years old at the time, was taken to an audition in New York City with Bad Boy Records, the attorney disclosed. The individual was sexually abused by Sean Combs and several other people at the studio in the promise to both his parents and him himself of getting a record deal. Oh, no. Combs founded uh, Bad Boy Records in 1993, the label that launched the careers of Notorious B.I.G., French Montana, and Machine Gun Kelly. Other boys were there to audition as well, Busby stated. All of them were trying to land a record deal. All of them were minors. Damn. Diddy's legal team reacted to the new allegations shortly after Busby went public. Mr. Combs emphatically and categorically denies all, de denies as all, I guess that's supposed to be all, all false and uh, defamatory, cl any, uh, any claim who the fuck wrote this? Y'all slapped this together last minute. This is not a good sentence. I'm going to read this how it should be. Okay, Mr. Combs emphatically and categorically denies false and defamatory claims that he sexually abused anyone, including minors. He looks forward to proving his innocence, excuse me, and vindicating himself in court where the truth will be established based on evidence not speculation. However, the promise of fame was leveraged over multiple child victims, Busby claimed. Uh, another minor told by uh, ele told, uh, told allegedly by Sean Combs that he would make him a star, but he needed to visit him in private about it away from his parents. Once they were in a private area, Mr. Combs made the victim perform oral sex on, upon him. Uh, thousands of calls with fresh accusations have flooded Busby's law firm since federal prosecutors announced a federal indictment against Diddy and arrested him last week. Uh, an individual 15 years old at the time was flown to New York City to attend a party, was drugged and then taken to a private room and allegedly in the presence of Mr. Comb Combs, in the presence of Mr. Combs, where this female individual minor was raped. Oh, God. And then other individuals took turns. I don't even doubt, I don't even doubt that. I don't even doubt that at all. I don't even doubt that at all, man. She thought she was going to get on and then. <sighs> Shit, man. This is, this is tough. This is tough to read, bro. This is tough to read. Anybody you see read this shit and they can read this shit stone cold. Man, they got problems, bro. There's no way you should be able to read this stone cold, bro. Um. Shit, man. Working with law enforcement, the attorney said many accusers have been weeded 
out with non-credible stories. However, at least 120 potential new victims will file individual cases against Diddy and possibly other abusers. Many of the new victims had previously told law enforcement that they had been abused and some who cooperated with the FBI. Many have medical records to prove they had been raped or drugged. Busby uh, added, drugs were found in their system, weird drugs, drugs you probably never heard of. Uh, the lawyer explained, one particular that continues to pop up is a drug called Zalazing or Trank, which based on our resources is, is known as horse tranquilizer. Dang, he was using it all the way back then? This man is tripping. Busby said much of the alleged uh, abuse took place at Combs parties, like his infamous white party thrown every year in the Hamptons with uh, an A list, uh, an A, an A list guest list. Wow. Okay, she was there with her top off. That's crazy. Um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put. I'm gonna have to put a little sensor bar over that. Um, alleged victims were scattered throughout the country, but many are in California, New York, Florida, and Georgia, which he also has homes in. Half are women. The other half are men. Damn, it's like I told y'all, he didn't give a fuck. He was, hey, if he got a hole, I'm using it. That's Diddy. If it got a hole, I'm using it. Um, much of the alleged abuse happened at parties, such as Diddy's infamous uh, wife, heart, da, 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 da. one of the individuals who was 22 years old at the time, uh, she was assaulted, said that the typical MO at one of these parties was that when you were handed a drink, and now we know the drink is laced with something that if you refuse to drink, you are kicked out of the party. In another disturbing case, an adult pregnant woman claimed she was raped after attending a group dinner with Combs in Miami. The fuck? She wasn't drinking because she was pregnant, but whatever she drank at the table was apparently laced with something, Busby stated. She blacked out and she woke up in the same bed again. Again, allegedly, uh, she woke up in the same bed. Again, alle oh, okay, okay. Uh, again, allegedly with Mr. Combs in his uh, mansion in Miami. Her vagina and an anus were torn and sore. And I could go on. Uh, and literally, you're sensing a theme here. A hotline number for... Other potential victims in bold red font was directly behind the attorney as he pleaded for others to come forward. If you're out there and you've been victimized, you are not alone. There is a great strength in numbers and speaking to potential victims who have yet to come forward. Busby added that many of the cases will be filed under uh, pseudonyms to protect the victims, mm -hmm. with the vast majority being filed in courts in New York City and Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. God damn. Yeah, damn boy, this this is this is gonna be crazy, bro. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be one of those things like we're gonna look at, and you're gonna be able to timestamp when you were there. You're gonna be able to timestamp, like, where was I when Diddy went down? For dead ass, dead ass. And I know there's other crazy shit happening, like um. Again, um, I just want to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm praying for the innocent people in Israel. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying for the people in Palestine as well. Because that's happening while I'm recording this video. And I just want to state that. Because I'm going to drop this video tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And and I know people are going to be like, oh, why didn't you put out a video about that? Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not touching that. Okay. I'm not touching that. And I'm going to keep it really simple here and go back on topic. Too much shit has happened between y'all historically. Between the Muslims and the Jews in that area, the whole Middle East, that th there is not a cohesive history on who wronged who first, and who reunited things first, and and it's just a perpetual thing. And y'all gotta figure out how to get along. Y'all gotta do it. Y'all gotta do it. And maybe religion, you will always conflict. Maybe your religions will always conflict. Maybe your ideals will always conflict. Maybe so. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gotta figure it out. It's not. It's not for me. A nigga like me, I'm. I'm not meant to figure that shit out. 
I'm not. I'm not even there. I'm not even there. All right. Um, but all I can say is I'm praying for y'all and I hope for the best. Um, but for Diddy, for the for the victims of Diddy, hey, look, I'm praying for y'all too, man. Like for real, like all the real victims. You know what I'm saying? All the people that's really going through it. I mean, yeah, there's there's gonna be some people that's mooching, trying to get some better at. Like there's always those type of people, and I don't want nobody here. Like, oh, you're victim blaming. No, the fuck, I'm not, bro. There's real there's real shit. There are there are always fucked up ass people trying to get a dollar. Always fucked up ass people trying to get a dollar. Okay. The 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 way our system is set up in America and the way you can sue people, it's always somebody looking for a quick buck. All right? Now whether or not they get that buck from you or from somebody else, it's basically on how you live your lifestyle. And Diddy, his day's been coming. His day has been coming. You know it's bad, man. You know it's Cassie, Cassie's first time being seen outside. Outside, like, like outside just randomly, like paparazzi and shit. Was once Diddy got locked up. And and I do want to reiterate a, a statement that the attorney made. Yeah, he's absolutely right. There are strength in numbers. Like, now that all you people have came forward and you have this attorney representing you and all that, that provides some level of security. You know what I'm saying? That means he can't just go willy-nilly have somebody go threaten you on his behalf or, you know, or anything try and happen to you. You're being, it's the feds and all that. They're going to find a way to tie that murder back to him. They're going to find a way or, you know what I'm saying, or his associates and his associates are going to fold. He knows it. He knows it. You know it. Everybody knows it. So if you're going to come forward, come forward now and, 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 and let's bury this dude, man. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't I don't like nobody that's on that PDF time. Whether whether heterosexual or homosexual. Like I don't give a fuck. Leave kids alone. Like that ruins people's lives, bro. That ruin pe I firmly believe kids should have the best possible option to make it to eighteen without like just an adult doing some random like hella bad bullshit to them. Like traumatic things. Like granted life is gonna happen you know what i'm saying whether it's deaths uh car accidents um injuries uh um you know just 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 life stuff is gonna happen you know what i'm saying like becoming broke getting back you know getting rich whatever positive or negative things are gonna happen to you but the main thing that matters is you know what i'm saying that you have an opportunity without somebody being malicious going after you life happens but somebody literally daggering, going straight after you to take advantage, like I can't, I can't get with that. You know what I'm saying? So again, if any of that is true, like I'm gonna say it, like I said with the other people, like you can just old Lassie that man, old Yeller, or is it old Yeller? I think it's old Yeller. I keep saying Lassie, old Yeller. Take him out, take him out back. We know what time it is. Matter of fact, send them to Israel. Put them in the Iron Dome and fire them off at something. It'll block it. I'm, I'm just saying. Anyway, um, man, that, that's... I might cut that. Anyway, <laughs> y'all have a good one. I'm up out of here, man. Stay blessed, man. I'm up out of here. Peace.